Normally when we come upon a downed rider or trauma victim, one of our first considerations is maintaining proper C-spine control. We'll have someone hold their head steady while we attempt to remove helmets or get people in a position that we can work on them in. So usually when you're taking a helmet off a patient, you run the risk of moving their neck or head a little bit because just a lot of movements that you need to do. The eject system is a way of minimizing the movement to a patient's C-spine when you're removing their helmet. If a rider if driver already has the eject system installed, all we have to do is simply unscrew in the cap, attach the inflation bulb or a CO2 inflator, and have a partner hold their head steady, and we can remove the helmet with minimal disturbance. If they don't have the bladder pre-installed in the helmet, you can use the first responder kit. If we arrive at the scene of an accident and a rider or driver does not have an eject system installed, then we can use the first responder system. It's essentially an eject system that's attached to an insertion stick. That stick is inserted underneath the helmet from the front and slid up until the bag is on top of the head. From there, we can attach either the inflation bulb or the CO2 inflator and easily remove the helmet makes our job a lot easier.